We all follow cute animal meme accounts like animals doing things. And most of the time we mindlessly tag our friends and say things like, oh my god, so cute. But with the case of short clips, few of us really understand the context behind them. You might think that you're looking at a cute video of an animal, but what's really happening in reality might be far more disturbing. That's exactly what happened with the case of a viral video of a baby turtle. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dore. Normally we cover the news on this platform, but when I came across this story about a viral video of a baby turtle, I decided I wanted to spread awareness and add to our Dark Truth series. Please like and subscribe for more trending news updates, but without further ado, this is the dark truth about that viral turtle video. So let's talk about the clip in question. It's pretty short, it's only about 25 seconds long. In it, a newborn turtle can be seen spinning around on its back. It looks like it's doing flips in the water and playing. The video is actually a couple years old. It went viral two years ago in February of 2017 and was flooded with comments from people saying things like, oh my god, so cute, so adorable. The huge. People also compared the turtles movements to their friends and said things like, oh my god, this is totally you. But the dark truth behind this viral video of a baby turtle is only now beginning to surface. What is actually being shown is not a cute baby turtle enjoying its first few minutes on earth. That turtle is actually an animal in distress. Every time that turtle flips around, it's struggling to take a breath. It's drowning. According to Kayulani Shori, a 27-year-old volunteer at the facility the turtle was born at in Tortugranja, Mexico, shortly after that baby turtle was born, it had to be euthanized to end its suffering. That turtle was suffering from a severe neurological problem that prevented him from being able to control his flippers. Because this turtle couldn't swim properly, it couldn't breathe properly. If this turtle was released into the wild with its brothers and sisters, it would have drowned within an hour. Shori was quoted saying, the hatchling in the video was only a few hours old when it was filmed. In the pile of awkward flapping babies, they really are not designed for land. It was impossible to tell that the individual's behavior was abnormal. Only an hour or so after the day's hatchlings were placed in the nursery pools, staff went around to do the morning feed and spotted the turtle. They immediately moved it to our hospital room where we carefully addressed it. Then the team decided that the only course of action was to end this turtle's suffering, while simultaneously affording him every kindness they could. The sanctuary where the turtle was born protects turtle eggs until they hatch. Baby turtles have it pretty rough. They not only have to worry about making it to the ocean, they have to worry about predators and poachers. So the shelter protects turtle eggs and keeps them under 24 hour guard. They bury them in a chicken wire nest until they hatch, then after 150 babies emerge, the nests are transferred to nursery pools until nightfall, at which point they are released into the wild. If you're an average person looking at this video of a baby turtle, you might not think much of it, but trained professionals and animal experts do know the difference. That's why Kayulani has made it her mission to put out the truth and educate people about the dangers of misinterpreting things we see on the internet. She explained, For those trained in animal welfare, the animal's distress is very obvious in the video, which makes it upsetting to watch once you have that information. But also, the video only shows a symptom, loss of mobility control, which without further examination does not have a single clear cause, leading many to speculate when they have no context. The comment section was split between, oh my god, cutest thing ever, happy turtle, and that turtle has a bacterial infection because that place is abusive to turtles. Both extremes of information can be detrimental to the work the center does, as well as to animal welfare as a whole. Kayulani wrapped up with this one last statement. I firmly believe that education is the key to conservation and preventing the spread of misinformation is important to me, so it was important to set the record straight. So with all of that being said, I hope this video has made you guys think about what's on social media. I'm not saying to go and troll every post of an animal and assume something more sinister is going on. What I am saying is be aware that posts on social media should not always be taken at face value. Always be aware and question everything, even IO videos. If you're suspicious about a particular topic or story, look into it on your own. Commenting and spreading misinformation about an outlet's intentions without knowing the full story is potentially damaging to our credibility. All it takes is a couple seconds of your time to Google a story to find out if it's true and cross check facts. Or if you're interested, the sources for our stories are always posted in the description of our videos. All right, let's lighten the mood and respond to some comments, shall we? These are from my video, The Dark Truth About Being Verified on Instagram. Kelsey Nicole Bray said, wow, this is crazy. Thank you so much for the insight on the blue check mark. Super helpful to know these things and to think about. I am glad you liked that video. It was definitely a shocker for me too. Callum Lynch said, love Charlotte's hair. Looks like Black Widow. Blurry Face said, I'd rather have my comment featured on IO than be verified. Wish granted. Full of Meme said, Charlotte reminds me of my mom when she was younger. That is good because my agent started to send me out for mom roles. I don't know if I'm old enough yet, but I guess I'll give it a go. Spicy Potato said, worst part of the video, 503. 
That's cute. So for those that didn't pick up on that little joke, 503 was when the video ended. <laughs> and sadly, this video is also over now, but if you want to keep watching, there's a playlist of a bunch of Dark Truth videos that we've done that's clickable on your screen. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, you should leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so I can see you in a future I.O. video.